All right, God bless you. God bless you. Greetings, everyone. Once again, this is L. Ariel Dunlap Jr. coming on to you with the only infallible, uncompromising, unadulterated, written word of God. We greet you from God the Father and from His Son, Jesus Christ. To my YouTube audience, we are on Facebook, and that Facebook address is Elder R. L. Dunlap Jr. Facebook. Come on and share and like. And uh, any question you have on anything, contact us. We'll answer your question with the Bible. To my Facebook viewers, we're on YouTube. That YouTube address is Robert Dunlap. We probably have, I'm guessing, we probably have 400 different videos on <laughs> YouTube. So either way, okay, tonight we're going to talk about, quickly, I trust I won't be too long, we're going to talk about the fruit of the Spirit. The fruit of of the Spirit. In the book of Galatians, the fifth chapter, and the 22nd verse. Bishop Brown, God bless you, sir. Galatians, the fifth chapter, and the 22nd verse. We're going to talk about the fruit of the Spirit. Okay. Okay. The fruit of the Spirit. Get your Bible. You will need your Bible. Oh, whatever I teach, get your Bible. <laughs> Don't take my word for it. Get your Bible real long. In Galatians, the fifth, the fifth chapter, beginning with the 22nd verse, it said, But the fruit of the Spirit. Let me say this. This is the fruit of the Spirit. One Spirit with different manifestations. The fruit of the Spirit. The Spirit of God. The fruit of the Spirit. This have nothing to do with you. This is the Spirit Working. This is the spirit moving. This is the spirit guiding. This is the spirit anointing. This is the spirit moving in you and working in you. This is the new nature. The nature of Christ. The godly nature. This is the new birth. Huh? This is not the nature you were born with, the nature to do wrong and the nature to sin, but this is the new nature, the nature of Christ, which is totally different from your nature that you were born with. You do not get this nature and be taught this nature in charm school, in etiquette class, etiquette class don't teach you this. Charm school don't teach you this. This nature works in you and will cause you to do that which you don't normally do which will cause you to react in a way that you don't normally react. You ever heard people say, you better be glad I'm saying. Some people frown on that statement, but that's true. That's true. A lot of things, if you wasn't saying, you wouldn't act the way you act, you would react totally different. In some cases, somebody will be in trouble. In some cases, somebody will be dead. Huh? In some cases, knives will be stuck in somebody's back. In some cases. 
So the fruit of the spirit. And the spirit calls you to act the way and live the way that God would have you to live because you have his nature in you. All right. The fruit of the spirit. Notice again. This is the fruit of the spirit. This is the spirit in operation. Got it? But the fruit of the spirit is love. Let, let deal with love. Let deal with love. And they, and they, they, they. <laughs> they ain't talking about loving nobody else's wife. And loving nobody else's husband. You remember the song, if loving you is wrong, I don't want to be right. If being right means being without you, I'd rather uh, uh, live alone when doing right. Am I wrong for trying to hold on to the best thing I ever had? If loving you is wrong, I don't want to be right. No, no, no. That's not talking about that love. <laughs> That's not talking about that love. Mm hmm. Uh huh. Uh huh. But this love goes farther than your natural human spirit. You know, the natural man in your human spirit, you love. But it's on condition on how you do me. If you with the natural man, if you if you do me wrong, I ain't gonna be loving you too long. Do me wrong, see what happens. That's the natural man. The natural man, I, I'm gonna get you if it's the last thing I do. I wish you were dead. I I, I had a woman years ago. On my job, and she had gotten mad with somebody, and she said, "If if this person was in the desert, dying of thirst, I wouldn't spit on." <laughs> now that's not love, <laughs> but this love, which comes from the spirit, causes you to love even. When it is not naturally feasible, folks say, man, you a fool. Let's look at Romans 12 and 9 right quick. And I'm going to move on. <clears throat> this love goes, this love go farther than, uh, 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 the, I tell you what, go to Matthew 5, 46. First, Matthew 5, 46. This love goes further than it's all right to love your friends. Love your childhood friend, love your family, love your husband, love your wife, love your cousins. Love your neighbor, but what about your enemies? Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. And we're going to explain that in depth too. Go to Matthew 5. 46. And it reads on this why. For, this, these are the words of Jesus now. Matthew 5, 46. For if ye love them which love you. Who was that? Who was that cousin Frank? Who was that Teddy Pendergrass? Say it's so good loving somebody when somebody love you back. And that's a fact. <laughs> oh, so it's yeah. Somebody love you back. Yeah, you love them. But what if they don't love you back? Then what you do? Read. If ye love them which love you, what reward have ye? Do not even the publican the same. The natural man, the sinner man do that. 
Love who love them. <laughs> huh? Huh? But back up to the 44th verse. See, we talk about the fruit of the spirit. But I say unto you, these are the words of Jesus, but I say unto you, love your enemies. Uh-oh. 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 You mean tell me I gotta love somebody who stabbed me in my back? You mean tell me I gotta love somebody who stole from me? You mean tell me I gotta love somebody who cheated on me? Somebody who took my wife? You mean tell me I gotta love them? Yes. With the spirit, the fruit of the spirit. It's the spirit doing that now. Now you need to get out of the way. Uh huh, uh huh. So the spirit can come forth and operate. Love your enemies. How you love your enemies? Bless them that curse you. You bless them. Do good to them that hate you. Do good to them. Pray for them that despitefully use you. Pray for them. Don't kill them. Don't do to them what they did to you. Right? Jesus love you. Love. That's the first one. Fruit of the Spirit. Sister Young, God bless you. Sister Baggett. Ba ba Bad Baggett. Baggett. God bless you. Talk about the fruit of the Spirit. Now let's go to Romans 12 and 9. See, this love go further. <laughs> you know a person you can't stand? You got to love them. Nobody said you had to run with them. And if you love them, you want the best for them and you don't want no harm to come to them. Love don't put nobody don't give nobody the lethal injection. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Or the electric chair. Folks, they let me pull the switch. God's spirit don't do that. He didn't do the, he didn't give the woman the death pain the devil called in adultery. He was supposed to, but Jesus didn't do it. He said, go and sin no more. Right? What did I say? Romans. What did I say? Romans what? 12 and 9. I want to show you something. Watch it. Romans 12 and 9. We talk through the spirit now. Men folk, they don't go in detail dealing with it. Let love be without dissimulation. Abhor that which is evil, cleave to that which is good, be kind of affection to one another, with brotherly love and honor, preferring one another. Without dissimulation, let it be real. Don't put on no front, let it be real. Huh? Let it be without respect of person. We talk about love. The fruit of the spirit. Huh? Huh? It's love. That's the first one. Let's go to the next one. Now you can come in late, get get rewind it, re get this whole tape now when we get through. You on Facebook. Ooh, we going long. Let me let's run on here. Go to let's go back to Galatians. What's the next one? Joy, what's joy, what's joy, what's joy? This the fruit, this the fruit of the spirit now. This, now, yes, the natural man can have joy. Excuse me. I declare, if somebody gave you a million dollars, you will have joy. Yes, you will. Yes, you will. Yes, you will. I declare. If you marry the man or marry the woman you want to marry, <coughs> excuse me, you will have joy. I declare, if you 
get the job you want, making the salary you want, or the commission you want, you will have joy. If you get the position you want, you will have joy. Yeah, you, you'll have joy. Hmm? But what if, but we're talking about the fruit of the Spirit. What if these conditions are not there? Then what? What if it's harsh condition? Huh? This is spirit now. This is spirit now. This is spirit now. You are, if folk, if you going through stuff and folk doing stuff to you and you being persecuted on every side and folks still see you with joy. You ain't holding your head down singing the blue. You ain't got no sad story like our certain mother say. I don't have no sad story. Things ain't going right with me. Everything happening in my life wrong, negative, but I still got joy. The spirit, the spirit, the spirit, the spirit, the fruit of the spirit. The spirit doing this now. All right, let's go. Let's go. Get 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 get, get your Bible. Keep your Bible on now. Go to. The book of James, the first chapter. James 1. James 1. The first chapter of James. Watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. See this, see this joy is based on who God is. In the promise God made. And you being in fellowship with God. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Now, let, let me say this. This joy is not talking about what these era people that fall prophets make up stuff. When they speak about joy, some of these so-called charismatic movement, everybody go laying out on the floor laughing. Ha 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 ha. They say the joy of the Lord, and everybody falling out rolling in the floor laughing. Ha 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 ha. Loose here, you devil, you, you crazy. They ain't talking about that. They ain't talking about that. That's something y'all made up. Let's see what this joy is. James 1, begin with the second verse. My brethren, count it all joy. When you fall into divers temptation, how do you count it all joy? How is that possible? Know that I say joy is based on who you know. And who you are, and who you in fellowship with, and you being in fellowship with God. My brother Kyle out Joe, when you fall into doubt with temptation, knowing this, you gotta know something to have joy. <laughs> knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. God, 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 God work, God work, God working now. God working in me. God working. But let patience have her perfect work that ye may per be perfect and entire wanting nothing. God working. God working something out in me. All things work together for good. These things happening to you. The joy is who you with and God working. God at work in me. Mm -hmm. and, and, and let patience have her perfect work. Uh huh. You get out of the way. Get out of the way. God got you. And that's the joy in knowing that God got me. <laughs> 
God got me. The, 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 the apostle Paul, I believe, said, uh, 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 to live is Christ, to die is gain. You, you, you'll win either way. Huh? And let's look, let's, let's look at I wanted the book of the book of Acts. You remember when the apostles were beating, were beaten and whipped and put in jail? You remember when they got out, they said that I am glad to be counted worthy to suffer for the cause of Christ. You remember that? Go to Matthew 5. And I mean, I'm going to I'm 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 rush y'all on here. Go to Matthew 5. Let me show you something. Let me show you something. I got something else too. Matthew 5. Look here, look here, look here. Matthew 5 and 11. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all man evil against you falling for my name's sake. Rejoice! <laughs> and be exceeding glad for great is your reward in heaven for so persecuted they the prophet. Rejoice! Knowing what? I got a reward coming. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, <laughs> y'all come from who you know and who you with. And you with God. Quickly, go to St. John 16. St. John 16. And I want to look at The 21st verse, St. John 16, 21. It reads on this wise, a woman, a woman when she is in travail has sorrow because her hour is come. But as soon as she is delivered of the child, she remembered no more the anguish for joy that a man is born into the world. Bless you. Sister Allison, Sister A.J. Robinson. Watch it. 22nd verse. And ye know that and, and ye now therefore have sorrow. But I will see you again and your heart shall rejoice and your joy no man take it from you. Good evening. Your joy no man take it from you when they see Jesus again. After he died. And went in the grave. And came back. After the three days and night. And they saw him again. They had joy. Because they saw Jesus. Because the Savior. Had risen. And they know it. And can't nobody take that away from them. That joy. Is knowing that Jesus rose. My Savior lives. That's the joy. Nobody can take that away. Huh? Joy comes from knowing who you are, who you are, who you with, who got your back, who you in fellowship with. All right. Uh, go, go to 1 Peter 1. See if I'll see it. First Peter one, and, I, and I'm gonna have to rush over. My time is just whew. First Peter one. Let's see. Do I want that?
No, 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 no. No, that's that's not that, that that's not that that's not uh what that's not what I uh want. Uh uh one second. One second. One second. Go to Roman 14 and 17. Roman 14, 17. Yeah. When we see the faith, yes, there is joy. But we have joy now because we know that he rose. <laughs> and we have his nature. And we know that he's there with us. Uh, Romans 14, 17. What's this? For the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. Huh? Huh? Let's look at. Oh, uh, okay. Let's go back. Let's go back. That's so let's go to peace now. Well, let me go and go back. Let's go back. Go to Galatia. Galatia. Let's go back there. Let's go back there. Galatia 5. Now we on peace. 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 Peace come from the same place joy come from. Remember the scripture that I said keep him in perfect peace who mind stayed on him. The rest of that scripture is because they trust in him. With God it's going to be alright. Okay. Now, go to Philippians 4. Philippians 4. Well, I need to show you something. Philippians 4. Start with the fourth verse. Philippians 4 and 4. This, this, this part of joy also. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. Rejoice in what? In the Lord. In the Lord. How you rejoice in the Lord. Your meditation got to be on who the Lord is. And what the Lord is doing. And what the Lord is going to do. And what the Lord said. And where joy come from. Huh? Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, Now, now, let's go to peace. Let's go, let's, peace. Go back here. Go, go to the fifth verse, the very next verse of the fourth chapter. The fifth verse. Well, sixth verse. Be careful for nothing. You know, things in life, life happens. But it's saying, be careful for nothing. Don't be anxious about nothing. But in everything, with prayer, supplication, and thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. You know what you're anxious about, and what you're worried about, and what's weighing heavy on your heart. Let your request be made known unto God. Now, when you do that, it says, and the peace of God which passes all understanding shall keep your hearts and mind through Christ Jesus. Give that thing to God and there will be peace. Whatever disturb your peace, let your request be made known to God. Lord, I need you to do this. I'm asking you to do this. I'm asking you to fix this. I'm asking you to keep me or whatever. Whatever it is. That disturb your peace. Pray about it. Give it to God. Let your request be made known to God. And when you give it to God and believe God and let it go, peace comes. Cause you ain't worried about it no more. Which surpasses all understanding. They can't understand why you're Pete. Man, I gave that thing to God. 
I'm a living with years ago a situation. I'm not gonna go in detail. That was getting the best of me. And I gave that thing to God. And when I gave to God, it was like, God got this now. It don't matter no more. God got it. It's going to be all right. God got it. I ain't worried about it. It's going to be all right. God got it. <laughs> and in six months' time, that situation was fixed. It's been fixed ever since. I gave to God. I ain't worried about it. Folks come say, man, ain't worried about it. It don't matter no more. It don't matter no more. <laughs> God got it. I gave that to God. God got it. I'm all right. Whatever. I'm all right. Cause God got it. Huh? I remember one time when uh back 1980, what? 89, I guess. I had back surgery. Had a disc took out of my back. And my cousin came to pick me up. She said, Hey, you're going to be in the wheelchair the rest of your life. You ain't going to be in the wall. I had talked to God, gave it to God. My answer to her was, It don't matter, no, whatever happened, whether I'd be able to walk again or not. It really don't concern me now. God got it. Whatever happened is all right because of God. It's in God's hand. And I'm in God's hand. And I'm God's child. It don't matter no more. <laughs> huh? All right. We need to move on. We need to move on. Oh. That was peace. Let's go to the next one. Let's go to the next one. That was peace. Why, why are you worried about stuff? Give that over to God and let God have it. And see those who have peace. Me and Believe in God to take care of it. However he take care of it. <laughs> Lord, I'm in your care. All right. What was that? Peace. Long suffering. Long suffering. That's it. Long suffering. Long suffering. The, the, the spirit of God is operating. The fruit of the spirit. Not, not, not the natural man. The fruit of the spirit. You are not to suffer long. Some of you have been suffering a long time. Now suffering long means suffering with the right attitude now. And not talking about you grumbling, you mumbling, you complaining. But with the right attitude. And if you get out of the way and believe and trust God, Huh? No, it's not. It's not gonna be in the back tomorrow. No, no, come here. No, no, Joe ain't gonna come in the morning for you. No, it's not coming in the morning. No, it's not coming in the morning. You are gonna weep for more than one night. You are gonna weep a whole lot of more nights. <laughs> but long suffering, the spirit, God's spirit. In you, God makes in you, you e equipped you to suffer a long time. The Spirit equip you, anoint you to suffer a long time without complaining, without cussing, without fighting, without having a bad spirit. Uh huh. Without lashing out, the spirit in you keep you there a long time. <laughs> no matter how long, it, no matter how long it takes, no matter, no, it don't matter, it don't matter. <laughs> the spirit, you all right? The spirit gets. Excuse me. I remember once I was going through something. And I had a leader call me in private. Man, all this stuff going on with you, man, and these folks talking about you and blah, blah, blah. I never.
never saw nobody go through what you're going through with and you ain't saying nothing. Because the spirit, <laughs> the spirit got me, is operating. Not me operate. Yeah, I want to say something. Yeah, I want to cut somebody out. Yeah, I want to hit somebody. Yeah, I want to do damage to somebody. Yeah, I want to get in with my enemy. Yeah, I want to. But the spirit the spirit the spirit the spirit the fruit of the spirit is long suffering uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Yeah, yeah. You go. You been there a long time. You'll be there. Uh, you'll be there. Be the whole. Uh, 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 uh. You'll be in it long. It ain't finna. It ain't finna get old. What you going through? No, it ain't, it ain't finna get old. I don't care what the problem I'm telling you. In seven days, it's gonna be old. In three days, it's gonna be old. It's gonna have suddenly. Yeah, but suddenly, how long from now? It's a long time. And however long it takes, the spirit in operation, and the spirit have you stand there long. Mm hmm. Uh huh. Long suffering. Long suffering. Long, long. I've been in this too long, Lord. I can't take no more. He'll make a God will make a lie out of you. He ain't finna move. He's not getting ready to move it. It's gonna be there. You might well get might well get to a, a, a pillar, find your soft spot, and get comfortable. You ain't going nowhere. Just because you pout and go on, you think what you're going through is gonna leave because you pout? No. So you just you just what's the, It ain't going nowhere. Long suffering. And you are not to suffer long. You are not to suffer long. You are not to suffer long. I know you don't like that. Long suffering. Long, long, how long, how long? How long, long? How long? How long? Reach over to your neighbor. You coming out of it? Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. Uh huh. Uh huh. Your season to come out. It's not yet. You gonna suffer a long time, and you are anointed to do it because the spirit is in operation. If it was up to you, you would have quit suffering. You would be able to end your suffering. It's not up to you. But the spirit is in operation. And you suffering without complaining. And you still doing God's work. And God's grace is still sufficient. Uh-huh. No, he, he's not getting he's not gonna move that thorn, but his grace is sufficient. You can still do his will and do his work. Alright. Gentleness. That's the next one. Gentleness. You know, some folks ain't gentle. But the spirit will turn a person who, who, who wasn't naturally gentle will tame the ravaging beast. Will the spirit, it's the spirit moving. Man, I remember the time when you wouldn't and you wouldn't this and you no, but the spirit is in operation. Gentleness. All right. Goodness, what's that? What's that? What's that? Goodness? Goodness? What's goodness? Goodness is your good works. Let your light so shine among men that they may see your good works and glorify the Father which is in heaven. Huh? Go to Galatians 16. The one chapter old, go to 10 verse. And we have therefore opportunity to let us do good to all men, especially those that are the household of faith. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you do good. You do good. The Spirit calls you to do good. Now I think the question needs to be asked, 
do you have a spirit? When you would do bad, the spirit, the fruit, have you doing good. Because it's the spirit operate. Uh-huh. If you let it. All right. Faith. What, what is this faith? What's this faith? This ain't talking about going. This ain't talking about faith for no car, no money, or no how. This talking about living faith. Walk in faith. Walking with Jesus. All right. Let, let's prove that. Go to uh Oh. Go to the gospel. Romans 117. Let's show this. Romans 117. I'm hot to hurry get out of here, man. Romans 117. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. Christ. For it is the power of God and salvation to everyone that believes it, to the Jew first and also the Greek. For there it is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith, as it is written, the just shall live by faith. That's talking about walking faith, living faith, walking with Jesus Christ. That's what that's talking. Let's see if we pick this up, pick this up in Jude. Let me show you. <coughs> Here it is. Jude, the third verse. Beloved, when I gave all them to write unto you of the common salvation. Of salvation. It was need for me to write unto you and exhort you that you shall honestly contend for the faith that was once delivered to the same. That faith was faith in Jesus Christ. Walk in faith. Live in faith. Not turn around. Not give it up. They, they whooped the apostles, they beat them, they stoned them, they killed some of them. They didn't turn back. They kept faith in Jesus following him. This is walking faith. Obeying faith. Uh-huh. 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 One verse say, we walk by faith and not by sight. Read that scripture when you get saying Look it up and read. We walk by faith and not by sight. That's talking about the faith in Jesus Christ. The faith in Jesus Christ. Walk in that faith. Live in that faith. That means doing what he say to obey in him. All right. Let's move on. Meekness. Let's deal with meekness. Meekness. Humble, submissive. But this is talking about being meek toward God. The meek shall inherit the earth. This is talking about meat towards God. It's a lot of folks, um, so-called humble and submissive, and, you know, let folks walk on like a dope man, but they ain't submissive to God. This is talking about meat towards God. Submitted, humble yourself under the mighty hand of God. Meat towards God. Moses was the meekest man on earth. Meek toward God. Submitting to God. Doing God's will. Doing what God tell you to do. That's what meek talk about. And that's the work of the spirit. The fruit of the spirit. Yeah. That calls you to obey God. Alright, 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 alright. Temperance. Temperance. Self-control. The Bible says, let your moderate be made known to all men. The Lord is at hand. Huh? Let's go back there, Philippians 4 and 4. Philippians 4, 4 and 4. 4 and 5. Let your moderate be made known to all men. The Lord is at hand. This talking about how you live. Deny yourself. Crucify your flesh. Do what he told you to do. Restrain yourself. And let's go back to Galatians and prove that we're going to be too. And go back. Galatians 5. One of these, one of these days I'm, I'm going to learn how to do the stuff fast. But now, against us, there is no law. Hey, there is no law. God's law is not against the fruit of the Spirit. 
The law of the land is not against the fruit of the spirit. The law of Moses is not against the fruit of the spirit. Ain't no law against the fruit of the spirit. But it is law against the works of the flesh. If you back up to the 19th, 20th, and 21st verse, it's law against the works of the flesh. You sinning. Watch it. And they that are, that are Christ have crucified the flesh with the affections and lusts. You crucified to a flesh. The thing you want to do. You used to do. You feel like doing. The devil tell you to do. You don't do it. The fruit of the spirit. That's it. That's enough of that. I could go follow, but the fruit of the spirit. God bless you. Is my prayer. God bless you. Let me get. In.